For a while now, I've been wanting to review Milne and Aislin, two characters who seem to be fairly popular in the SRB2 community. However, I was halted in this endeavour by my inability to find them on the forums. I've only just found out, through the power of searching up Aislin and then trolling post comments, that they are the duo that together make up Horizon characters by Crystalline Gazer. <gasps> no! You motherfucker me! As always with duo packs that have two completely different characters, I'll be covering Milne and Iceland in two separate videos, so let's begin this review of Milne the Crystal Fox. Moveset wise, Milne feels like a fairly classic modded character. She plays fairly similarly to the vanilla cast, lacking the crazy complete physics overhauls that some newer mods have, but has one or two abilities that stand her out. Makes sense. She was developed towards the beginning of 2021, so seems to have come out just after the massive wave of mods that I assume were either carried over from a previous version of SRB2 or an earlier version of the website. Her spin ability is the Sartos, a quick attack that fires three small crystals forward that can destroy enemies, although they will quickly satter after a few seconds. Think of it kind of like a shotgun blast. Her jump ability is the Twister Thok, which is one of those press jump once to have a second jump, and then press it again to the slam back down to the ground abilities you've seen a million times before. It's a little different to most of the others though, in that it's entirely traversal oriented, rather than the fusion of movement and attack that the majority of similar abilities are. They still empower springs when landing, and you can still destroy enemies if you land directly on them for a massive upwards boost, but the attack has no sock wave and doesn't really affect your momentum when you land. It does have some really weird horizontal momentum when you use it while moving, Presumably for better horizontal utility, but feeling pretty unnatural. Although it does seem like something that you'll get used to with continuous play. Pressing spin while near certain objects will allow Milne to lift them up and throw them, for a variety of different effects. Obviously, you can pick up enemies and monitors, with the monitors granting you their effect upon hitting an object, while enemies can be targeted towards other enemies for a chance at a bad nick chain. But one object you might not necessarily expect to be able to pick up is springs? That's right, you can pick up springs, which will instantly launch you in the direction you're facing when you decide to throw them. It'll also land on the ground for additional usage if you travel through the area again. I can take or leave this ability to be honest, as it's more annoying than useful in most cases. Luckily, using command Milne Grief, while mostly designed to stop players from annoying everyone else in multiplayer, can still be used in single player to disable the ability. And finally, Milne's last ability is the Crystal Lance, this massive drill thing attached to her arm in her character art. Performed either by tapping spin twice or by pressing custom 1, use this command it's way more natural feeling. You can launch yourself forwards to destroy enemies, spikes, breakable objects or attach to walls. It works fine for all of its more destructive utilities and can be pretty useful for when an extra burst of momentum is needed while platforming, but I find it can be really annoying when attempting to use it to attach to walls. Sometimes it'll work fine, but other times it won't attach to the wall, or it'll attach before throwing you back off immediately, or it'll sometimes just slide along the wall if you approach it at an angle, which would all be fine if it was just consistent with doing this. As it is, it's a bit of an ugly blot on an otherwise pretty good moveset. There are three other minor things. Milne will release a shockwave to see force for long enough, destroying nearby enemies. She doesn't appear to travel as high using springs, presumably a clunky way of showing that she's supposed to be heavier than the base roster, and she doesn't need air bubbles underwater. I think it's something to do with her being made out of crystals, but I just wish more mods did this, looking at you every single robot character. Graphically, Milne's a good character. I like her design, and I think her sprites are at a similar level to most other serious SRB2 characters. I also like her death animation, which I saw a lot because I'm not very good at playing as her, but my only gripe with her is the complete lack of a trail or similar effect when you're falling fast enough to release a shockwave. As it is, it's just a lucky thing that sometimes happens, rather than an effect you can really see coming. Overall, I quite like Milne. She reminds me of the characters I was using when first showcasing SRB2 mods, back before I reviewed them in any manner. I beg of you, please don't go and watch any of those videos, they're all awful. Fun moveset that could do with being a bit more consistent in key areas, some nice sprites, I think she deserves a 7 out of 10. 
I hope you enjoy the video, and ciao.